Hi there, my name is Kevin Dom with Save the Oceans. We're the manufacturers of Oil Lift Oil Remover, which we have right down here, and our new Flubber Dust product, which is a, an absorbent material that allows you to collect waste oil and actually break it down so you can use it over again. We're just going to show you how this works. What we've got here is a spill at Canadian Tire in Langley, BC, where a customer dumped motor oil all over the back of the lot. So we want to clean it up really quick. So first we're going to use the Oil Lift. And I'll just show you how this works. When you spray it down, you'll notice all the oil starts disappearing. All we're doing is giving it a light sprinkle. And the idea is just to emulsify the oil. What that means in English is that the soap is attaching to the oil and to the water. And it allows you to pick it up much easier. So we'll just keep spraying it down here. And we'll do a nice big pack. And you can see all the rainbows disappearing. Remember, again, this doesn't mean the oil's gone. It just means you're, you're emulsifying it. So we'll just take it up to this point so you can, well, you'll have a contrast you can see on the video. So we'll just do this section for now. We'll do the rest of the cleanup later. So once he's finished scrubbing here, we're gonna dump the flubber dust down. Okay, why don't you keep scrubbing and I'll get the flubber dust here, Tito. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a big line and then you can just push it right across. Oops. Now the cool part about flubber dust, flubber dust is six to eight times more absorbent than baking soda. And when you put it down, the charge is a highly negative charge, pulls everything out of the surface. So a lot of the maintenance guys, what they like to do is they put it down at night, they come back in the morning and they sweep it up. And then you put it in the bucket, you heat it in the sun, it splits the oil molecule, and you use it all over again, and again, and again, and again. So watch when we sweep this around, watch what happens to the water and coming to the surface. But give that a good deep scrub right there. You know it's done its job when the substrate underneath is dry. Now because it's a rainy day out here, we're moving pretty quick. But we want to, uh, we just want to get this oil up before it can leak into the stream, before the big rainstorm. The, the interesting thing about these drip and drop type of oil spills, they happen every day in parking lots right across North America or right across the world. And it doesn't look like a lot of oil, but when you start to see it accumulate in the streams, it creates a huge layer of solid oil sludge at the bottom of the river, which chokes out all the life in the oceans. So the important thing here, though, is most people don't clean it up. In this case, we can catch over 99% of the pollution, and most importantly, we can do it in a very cost-effective way so we're, we're not impacting the bottom line of the business. In fact, we're actually reducing operational costs in the business. As you can see now, Tito here, he's, he's swiping in, the, he's reusing the flubber dust. So you can keep using it and using it until it's completely saturated. And then the cool part, you just let it dry out in, in the shop in the sunlight. And once it's dry, you can use it all over again. So it saves you a fortune in spill cleanup material at any facility. So the interesting part about this cleanup, while well, Tito's doing the rest of the sweeping, I want to point out how much material we actually used. We used about 25 to 50 cents of cleaner, and we, one pail of that flubber dust is around 90 to 100 bucks a pail. But guess what? We've got almost the whole pail back, and they're going to reuse it. So this cleanup costs virtually nothing. If you had to bring a crew out and all the other equipment, you'd be into hundreds of dollars. So as you can see, we've picked up over 99% of the oil. There is a residue on the surface. Now in the sun, this will dry out. You can sweep it all up and collect the material. Sometimes you do get a rainstorm, so there'll be a small amount left, but it's sequestering the oil. So it's, it's gonna minimize the impact in the environment. And that's basically the, you know, the, the highest recovery rate uh, achievable in these types of small spills. Because as you know, 99% of them end up down the drain. Now we're stopping it. 